Hello there, God bless you. You're welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Anel. Someone will invite you to go out with them. Beware, be very careful because they want to kill you. They want to take you out. Someone is going to invite you to go out with them. Maybe on a date, maybe on a you know casual, you think it's just a friendship kind of outing, but their motives are not right. They plan to kill you. You have to be very careful with the people around you. You have to be very careful because there are people who claim to be friends, but they are really enemies. And there are people who claim to be, re they don't claim to be relatives, but they are relatives. And you think um, you are free around them. You think you are safe around them, but you don't know you are in danger with them. You have to be very careful. Be careful because they are full of jealousy and hate for you. Full of jealousy because of what you do and because of what God is doing in your life. It gets them really angry and they would stop at nothing. If they had their way, they would take you down. Do not minimize what jealousy can do. Do not minimize. Jealousy can make people act and regret later. Jealousy can make people act out of proportion and regret their actions later, but you are gone. Look at what happened to Abel. Cain and Abel. We all know the story of Cain and Abel in the Bible. They both offered sacrifices to God, but one person offered a more pleasing sacrifice. <clears throat> Excuse me. One person offered a more pleasing sacrifice. God was very pleased with them. And another person just gave God a meager sacrifice. And their sacrifice was not accepted. And Cain was moved with so much jealousy. But now the question is, what did Abel do wrong? We all had the opportunity to sacrifice to God. I gave God my best and you could not give God your best. What is my crime? What did I do wrong? But Cain did not look at it like that. He was moved with jealousy because Abel's sacrifice was acceptable. God accepted Abel's sacrifice. He invited him to go out to the field with him. He invited Abel to go out to the field with him. And Abel would think maybe they are going out to play. They are going out to um, talk as brothers. He did not know that Cain had ulterior motives. <clears throat> I have heard stories so many times. I've heard a lot of stories in this part of the world where someone was um, had some kind of big achievement, went out to celebrate with friends, got poisoned, and they died. Someone received a promotion, went out to celebrate with their friends, and the next day they are rushed to the hospital, they die, and you hear, <coughs> excuse me, you hear that they were poisoned. Look at the faces of the people around you when you share your testimony. When you say what God is doing in your life, look at the faces of the people around you. And sometimes appearance can, can be very deceptive. People can, can put up a show and you are deceived to think that they are pleased with you or they are celebrating with you or they are happy with you whereas in their hearts they hate your gods in their hearts they hate the very air that you breathe so what can help you in this world where you cannot see what people think in their faces what is your guarantee in a world where um, a man's thought is deep within you need the spirit of discernment you need the spirit of discernment. You need to be able to discern and know that even though this person is laughing, even though they are smiling, even though they are jubilating with me, they do not mean well for me. You need that spirit to be able to remain guarded. You cannot just live your life like that. You can't just live your life um, taking people from their face value. You need another mechanism to be able to determine if they mean well for you or they don't. I pray for you that God is going to sharpen your perception.
that before evil comes to you a mile away, you are going to sense it in the name of Jesus. I pray that God is going to make your perception so strong that evil will not knock on your door without you knowing and that you'll be able to decode, you'll be able to know the in evil intentions of the people around you even before they come close to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not fall prey. Pray. You're not going to fall prey to wicked people. You will not fall prey to jealous people. God is going to find a way to warn you before time. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. God bless you.